Oh, hello, friends, and welcome back to Learn How to Edit Stuff. My name's Nadia and Sands, and today we're gonna do some like today's lesson the, gl the glitch effect. A lot of people have been asking me about this one. A lot of people! So many people! Well, your questions are getting answered today, but not until I thank you guys. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. Over 5,000 people have subscribed to this channel so far. I never thought that it would get this big, and it's only getting bigger, so make sure that you keep subscribing, keep commenting, keep asking me questions, and in turn, I will keep making videos for you. That's how this relationship works, I think. All right, you've been thanked. Now you probably want to learn how to do the glitch effect in Adobe Premiere. We're doing it right now. Adobe Premiere glitch effect custom design. Learn how to edit stuff, Naughty and Sands, to you right now. Let's go. All right, so we've got Premiere open on the timeline. I've got the clip that I want to apply the glitch effect to. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the point in the clip where I want the glitch effect to start. Like today's lesson. Right when I say the glitch effect. So let's uh, quickly cut this. And now we're working with just this clip right here. And I'm excited. So basically, there's no real formula for how to do the glitch effect a certain way, right? So today, I'm going to show you guys all the tools that you can use to create the glitch effect in hopes that you will go and experiment on your own and apply as many or as little as you want to get the desired effect that you need. Again, I say this in every video. Use the knowledge in today's video to create something cool and unique on your own. Or you can copy me verbatim today. Whatever. I'm honored. All right, first things first, let's go to our effects tab and in here, let's type in block. And we're gonna go to the block dissolve transition. We're gonna drop that right on our clip, come over to effect controls. And here we have a couple parameters. We have transition completion, block width and block height. We're gonna turn on the keyframes for all of those right now. And the first thing we're gonna do is set the completion to like 45%. So you can actually see what's going on in your video. And then we're gonna adjust the block width so maybe we'll stretch it out a bunch like that and we'll stretch out the height as well. So now we're getting these weird kind of like pixel blocks almost. And now see how it goes blurry? That's this little checkbox right here, soft edges, best quality. Let's get rid of that because I actually want it to look digitally and pixely like that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go every two frames, I'm gonna adjust the parameters. So let's go two frames over, we'll turn the completion up, we'll turn this up, we'll go like this here, two frames over, maybe we'll just shrink this down, keep that the same, we'll get rid of some of these, two frames, oop, don't forget to set your keyframe for the ones you don't use, two frames over, do this again, maybe like this this time, another two, maybe a little bit less, something like this, we will start to make our way back down to zero towards the end of this and two frames go zero 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 well one is the default but zero okay so now that we have this going the second thing that we're going to do for all of the plugins that we use to achieve the glitch effect is we're going to set all of the keyframes to hold so basically what hold does is it activates a kind of freeze frame in the transition that you're using so it doesn't smoothly transition between all your keyframes, but rather it hard jump cuts to every keyframe that you're making. So it makes that glitch effect a little bit more hard and like techy. So let's highlight all these. Let's go to hold on our keyframes and let's collapse this because we're done. We're done with that. We're not going to revisit it until later. The next thing that we're going to take a look at is transform. And we're going to drop the transform plugin on this video and we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to uncheck uniform scale so we can adjust the height and the width independently. Perfect. Close that. Next order of business, wave warp. So type in wave warp, drop that on our clip, go back to the beginning. And as you see, it looks like little bits of bacon. Uh, that's not what we want. We do not want the bacon look. What we want it to do is go to where it says sine wave and we're gonna change the wave to noise so that it doesn't look like bacon. And what we're gonna be uh, controlling today is wave height and wave width. So we are going to keyframe both of these things and I'm going to turn the wave height. Let's start like kind of small here and then we'll work our way up. So now I'm doing the width. And we're going to take these and we're going to apply the hold keyframe. My computer literally sounds like it's about to take off and fly into space. Uh, guys, this is CPU intensive for what we're doing today. So don't get discouraged if your computer is running really slow. You will get there eventually, I promise you. With that being said, let's preview this and see what we got. 
So now you guys understand what I mean by there's no real formula for doing this correctly, right? It's very subjective. It's very up to you and what you think works and looks best for your project. So let's keep going. There's a couple other tools that I want to show you how to use and then we'll be done. The next of which, if you type in color and you go to color balance and we drop that on our clip here, it will give you the color balance which is down here. Now, my rule of thumb for this is that I only choose one color to really highlight when I'm doing the glitch, either red, green, or blue. So let's do green today. So turn on shadow green, turn on midtone green and highlight green. And let's do the same thing. All right, everybody set your keyframes to hold and close this because we're done with color balance. And now, last but not least, Offset. Now what offset will do is it will actually roll your frame. If I just grab one of these numbers, see what I'm doing here? It just rolls your frame. So that's exactly what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the end first on this one. So let's go two from the end and let's set our shift center to be at zero. This is where we wanna land. And let's go back to the beginning and let's just crank this number up or down depending on what you wanna do a bunch of times. So maybe like there. So as you see, as I scroll through this, it's actually cycling through my frames and then it ends on zero, which is cool. So let's check this out. The glitch effect. The glitch effect. The glitch effect. Nice. Maybe instead of doing two frames, let's do one frame here. Nice, that's looking pretty good. So what you can do now is you can actually come in here to your block dissolves, to your transitions, to your transforms, and you can just start spreading these out so they're not so uniform, right? So if we come in here, maybe we will uh, go one keyframe, boom, and then we will go, you know, butt these up against each other here. We'll maybe keep these the same. Cool, let's check it out. The glitch effect. The glitch effect. Nice, that's pretty cool. And if you guys have seen my other videos about saving presets in Adobe Premiere, this is the perfect opportunity for you guys to literally, what, this took us less than 10 minutes to do, right? So do a bunch of these and don't do them the same and apply different effects. Like even the ones I didn't show you today, apply different effects and we're gonna save it as a custom preset. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna start on Block Dissolve. And you guys are gonna hold down the Command key or the Windows key, I believe it is on Windows. And we're just gonna select all the things that we used and we're gonna right click we're gonna to go to save preset and I'm gonna call this glitch tut one and make sure that's set to anchor to endpoint and we're gonna click okay. So now if I were to come in here and I make a new title and it just says glitch, we can turn this up. It doesn't have to look pretty, this is just an example. I drop the title in on my timeline and then I go to effects, I go to presets and there it is glitch tut one. I'm gonna drop it right on my text layer and then check that out. Now it works on text as well. And it works on any video that you want to apply it to. So the coolest thing about that is that it's not something that you just bought online. You didn't go and pay $10 for somebody else's presets. You made your own and that's super cool. All right, last thing before we finish here, uh, I like to mess up the audio as well as the video so that it feels more real and uh, like glitchy with the audio as well. Uh, so pro tip real quick, uh, if you click on a clip and you see that both the audio and the video is selected, if you come up here to this little thing, it says linked selection. If you click on that button, it will actually let you select the video and the audio independently from each other. So pro tip, bet you weren't expecting that one. So let's come down here and let's go over two keyframes. Let's cut the audio. Let's pull this audio over just like that. And another pro tip, I did this in another video. If you hold down alt or option and you click and drag on a clip, it will actually duplicate it for you on the timeline. So we're gonna duplicate this maybe five times. So then it's something like this. And then let's come in here actually and do one frame each for the last one, so it just really hypes it up there. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful to some of you that were asking about the glitch effect. Again, there's no set way to do this, right? It's just kind of experimental and something that you think is cool, something that you want to do, what you want to achieve and how long or how short you want it to be, etc. There's a lot of different things at play here to make it unique. So go back in and experiment with things that we didn't cover today, stuff that I didn't talk about and see how it affects your video and how it works for you. Also, don't forget to use the hold keyframe option for your glitch and mess up your audio because it helps. Well, that about wraps it up for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Nadia and Sands. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Nadia and Sands. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out last week's video. 
Both options are pretty good. I would recommend clicking on both. Go on. Click one of them or both of them.